What's poppin' to the real niggas on YouTube? It's your boy M-Dub here with Journey Day 8. We in this thing with Journey Day 8. We gonna keep this thing going forever, nigga. Today I'm gonna talk about a nigga that hated motherfuckers falling asleep. If he looked like you were going to sleep, he would get fucking mad. So I called him the no going down on me, bitch. Let's get it! Alright guys, I'm gonna start off by saying this. The teacher... Seemed cool the first three or four weeks of school. The kids enjoyed him. I thought he was cool. He was a cool teacher. He was overall a cool teacher to me and my friends and the people in the classroom. Basically, he hated motherfuckers going to sleep, though. He would turn on a movie almost every single class. And as soon as a nigga go like this, start dozing off, he'd be like, hey, wake up. We'd be like, oh. Shit, I didn't know you had that much fucking energy in your throat. You must suck a lot of dick. Because I, I didn't know that. And it's just the way he acted. He would act all nice like, Hey guys, welcome to class. We're going to turn on the movie. Answer the quiz questions at the end. And uh, make sure you write down notes. Take some notes. And then as soon as he see a motherfucker dozing off, he'll scream, Hey, wake up! And like he would get sweaty immediately. Like immediately. Have you ever seen someone get sweaty immediately? Like, as they use their, their first bit of energy, just, that's like starting a marathon, and as soon as you take the first step, you're fucking drenched in sweat. That's how this nigga looked, yo. No lie. <laughs> no lie. So anyway, yeah, he'll be like, hey, wake your ass up. And everybody be like, whoa, calm down, bro. First of all, he turns on a movie. You know the first thought when niggas is in class with hoods on, headphones on, you know what I mean? Trying to cover themselves and shit. The first thought they have in their mind is, oh, it's a movie. We're going to take a nap. We're going to do something. We're going to listen to music. We're going to do some bullshit. We ain't going to listen. We ain't going to watch the movie. And then 15 minutes in the fucking movie, you want to hand out a paper and say there's a quiz at the end. Nigga, we already are at an hour and 15 minutes in. An hour and 15 minutes in, my nigga. And you handing out a fucking worksheet telling me that the previous questions that were already answered like 20 minutes ago need to be fucking answered? You tripping, nigga. So anyway, yeah. So like I was saying, he was really into his job. Like he loved his job. You know what I mean? He would, he would, he would let us eat every so often. He would let us do things, you know, that weren't usually allowed in classrooms. You feel what I'm saying? But as soon as he 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 sees us falling asleep or dozing off or even sometimes he would get mad at us for blinking. In middle, in the middle of the blink, halfway through the blink, he would be like, "Stop!" He'd be like, "Oh, you just blinking? All right, it's cool." Like anytime a nigga closes his eyes, he gets thought. He didn't. He didn't want the class to be boring, but at the same time, he would turn on movies and do all the shit that make niggas fall asleep. Nigga, we wake up six five thirty six in the morning. Nigga, of course he's gonna be fucking tired. Don't expect to turn on a movie and we watching it like the fucking Titanic. Turn on something that's not so mellow. Bad Boys Two. Fucking Incredibles. Turn on something that exhilarates my body. Not something that makes me fall asleep. This nigga turned on all the saddest, mellowest movies, romantic shit. Shit that had nothing to do with physics. Nigga, turn on something. Don't turn on fucking Beauty and the Beast. Nigga, I'm gonna be the first one to sleep. And then you're gonna get mad at me, nigga? Get mad at me? You was tripping. This guy crazy, man. But overall, man, his attitude was fucked up, first of all. His attitude was fucked up. So when we got into class, he would always be rude to us. Like, just rude, like, rude for no reason. And I'd just be walking, I'm walking to class, almost there. The bell hasn't rung yet. I'll get to class on time, and it'll be like, why are you running close to time? I'm like, nigga, I'm here on time, ain't I? Who the fuck asks if I'm running close to time? I'm in the class before the bell rang. That means I'm early. Or if not, I'm on time. Nigga, get off my fucking back. So I really didn't like that nigga. And as soon as he got on us for falling asleep and dozing off and closing our eyes and blinking, I was really pissed at this motherfucker. I was like, this motherfucker better chill, nigga. Looking like Benjamin Button. Fucking old ass nigga. I'm like... Get off my back, bro. I'm just trying to enjoy the movie. All my friends were like, it's cool, bro. Don't don't take it too harsh. You know what I mean? He's like that with everybody. But I'm like, nah, nah, 
Nah, you gotta stop that shit. You gotta stop being like that for, with, with everybody. You gotta stop being like that, bro. Real talk. If you're still teaching and you see this shit, here's the middle finger. Take it up your ass and throw it right in the ocean. You feel me? All right, guys. That concludes my journey day eight. Journey day nine coming soon to a theater near you, to a YouTube channel near you, nigga. Enjoy your guys' day and don't stress out about these bitch-ass teachers sometimes. They be getting on my nerves, but sometimes, like I said, you are respectful. So you get respected from me. Goodbye, guys!